Well, in 1997, there was an historic Kyoto Agreement. I negotiated on behalf of the European nations and we made it possible to have the Kyoto Agreement. That is 20 years ago. There have been many conferences since and I've attended them all. But here at the Council of Europe, before every main conference, such as Paris, Morocco, they have always, we have always produced a report saying the way forward is this. And we've been ahead of governments We've made proposals they've adopted, and the program you've got there is ready for Poland. And we have now got a new idea, not only international legislation like Kyoto, national legislation where we said you have to have targets for every nation and every nation. Now we're saying at a lower level, get the developed countries joining with the developing at a lower level, you'll get more reduction in carbon, greater prosperity, and do something about global. That report tells you how you do it. The next stage, parliamentarians make the decision here, not governments. Parliamentarians have been ahead of governments and they've adopted our proposals. You've got our latest one, which will be going to Poland. We in the Humber, in the north of England, have got together with Morocco and Ghana, two developing countries. And our universities and our public and private sectors have come together in a new kind of civic operation which we first recommended. And that means we help them with the science in agriculture. We help them with the doing the carbon and also reducing water. And in, that's in Morocco. In uh, Ghana, we put a hundred villages together on an estuary, and this is one of the proposals. And you help them develop their own economy at their own speed with assistance, but actually reducing carbon, getting used to new renewable energy, and being a part of the global community instead of just pleading for money. Let's get on with it.